guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a pretty cool tutorial for you. I'm showing you guys how to make a door that you can open and with a key or a key card or whatever you want. And when you, and it actually animates as it opens, so it doesn't just be destroyed. So, yeah, basically what you do is you pick up the key here. And I made this key, by the way. I'll also be showing you guys how to make a key. And you can pick it up. It is a bit weird holding it. Um... And then once you click the door with it, you can see it animates and it opens. Um, I can make like a doorway here. And it'll be like a real door. So, yeah, if you're excited for this, leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Um, and also, yeah, subscribe and join the group because that uh, 100 subscribers, I'm giving away 1,000 Robux. We hit 100 subscribers at the end of summer. And you need to be in the group to participate, of course. And join the Discord. And yeah, let's get right into the video. See ya. Alright, guys, so the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to create our key that we need to open the door with. Oh, what we can do is you can go ahead and insert a cylinder. I'm not here. Um, cylinder here. Um, and we can just scale it. Um, so I'll change the move to zero studs. All right, here we go. So you can just scale it pretty skinny like this. All right. Um, and then you can also just get a free model, but I'm making my own right now. All right, so then you can just duplicate that and make a smaller version. Um, move it out like this, I guess. Um, and then you can put that through the middle of it. Um, and scale it out like this and you can go to model here and negate this part and then you select the other part that we made and then we can union it I made a tutorial on this um, I'll leave an I card to it All right, so we can union it like that there you go so you can see we have like a clear cylinder type thing alright and then you can also just insert another cylinder um, rotate it course and this that's too big so scale it down and let's move it kind of like that and we'll just go ahead and scale it down a little bit more all right um And then, okay, it's still kind of too big. Alright, I'm making this too perfect. This is just, it's just a model, okay? Alright, and then from that, I can also scale it a bit back this way. And then I can duplicate that, rotate it like this, scale it again, like that, and up from under the base plate. Alright, so like that, and then like that. And I could just go ahead and change the color of it, I guess. Um, red color. Red. Oh, and I could also, um, separate this just to change the color of it to red. Color. Okay. Um, red color. Oh, it's because there's a part there. Alright. And just a red. And then, um, you can just select everything here and union, union it all together. So here we go, we have our key. So in, in workspace, we can just add a tool, put the union in the tool. Um, oh, and what we could do, we can make a little block part here, very, very small. All right, it's like this, boink and boink. All right, here's our part for the block. And uh, we can rename this to handle. Make sure none of these parts are um, anchored, by the way. And then you can just use this and you can weld it together. So you'll just add in a weld. And then you do part zero, union, and then part one, handle. All right. Uh, moved a bit. And like that. 
now the world is gone. Okay. I'll just use a tool. So a plugin I have here is um I can just select these two and I'll just load it all. I'll leave the plugin in the description somewhere. Does that work? Union handle. Alright, load all. So I'll leave that in the description. And so now if we go into base if we play We should just be able to pick this up, and there you go, we have kind of a weird way to carry a key, but we have a key, oh, and then we can of course set this transparency to 1. In order to fix that, um, the, um, I think if we rotate this way, right? I don't know, I don't know but anyway, here we go, we have our little key here to open the door, so now let's actually create our door, so, um, we're gonna bring it apart and just set the color of it to brown and the material of it to wood, just like our normal door. Um, and then we can scale it up. Here's our door, big fat door. Also set cast shadow to off so it's easier to see. All right, and you're going to want to anchor this door. And then what else you're going to do? You're going to duplicate it with Control and D. And you're going to make it, you're going to make a copy of it kind of like an open version of the door. So when you want the door to be open, like the position you want it to be in. So it's going to open from here to over here. And what you can do here, you can set this to can collide um, to off so you can't touch it. Um, keep it anchored. Yeah. And then transparency to one. So you cannot see it. Alright, and now you can rename this to closed, and this part, no, this part is closed, and this part is opened. Alright, and then, what you want to do is you want to select these and press Ctrl and G to group it into a model. Um, you're going to run and rename this model, whatever you want. I'll just name it door. Alright, so in this model, we can add in a script. And we're going to do local door is equal to script dot parent. All right, and then we're going to we're going to want to animate this door. So to do that, we're going to get the tween service, kind of like an animation service. So we're going to do local tween service equals game colon get service, and we're going to do tween service. There we go, and then local Info is equal to tween info dot new dot new and we're going to do one comma enum and one comma enum dot easing style and dot bounce. You can either the here there are like um tons of things you can do here uh to make the door move. But I personally like, so you can see all of them. I personally like bounce because the door is like really swinging the door. Um, and then it goes back for a front. You'll see what I mean when it's done. All right. Um, so bounce and line here, the, probably the ones you would want to do. All right. And then you do comma, um, in, um, dot easing direction, um, dot out comma zero comma false or false all right comma zero all right here we go so that's the tween info and then what we can do is local tween will be equal to tween service tween service um colon create and we're going to do door comma info comma and then we're gonna do like these pointy bracket things um c frame um is equal to door door dot parent dot open open okay door what oh okay so we're going to do um equals door dot okay 
dot open dot c frame. There you go. Dot c frame. All right, and then what you're going to do down here is door dot touch door dot touch. Okay, actually, what you can do is move the script into the open one because you can't do it in the model. But make sure you keep the script that you're using into the open door and not in the model itself. So then here you would want to fix this door dot the parent dot open. Oh no, door yeah, door dot parent dot open dot safe frame. Here you go. There you go. So then oh no, you wanna keep this enclosed. Keep the script enclosed. I'm getting this messed up. So keep the script and the closed door, the one that you can see. Not this one over here that's invisible. Alright. So what you're going to do then is door dot touch um colon connect function hit and then if we're going to do if hit dot parent is no hit dot parent dot name equal to equal to a key and oh yeah, make sure to rename this tool to key. I forgot about that. Um and um hit the parent colon is a tool then a uh, tool tool okay then um then we can go ahead and say tween Toin colon play. Alright, make sure to include parentheses at the end of play or it won't work. Alright, so now. Alright, if we play it now. You can go ahead and grab the key. Still in its weird angle, so. Just ignore the way I'm holding it, please. Um, and then you can put the door up parent. Oh, I put an extra A, I put a capital A in parent, or is that parent, you can't, okay, here you go, I put a capital A instead of a lowercase one, alright, now if I do it, give me the tool, touch it, yes, there we go, alright, and, do it again so you guys can see it. Alright, we grab the key, click it on the door, and there you go. You can see it opened. Um, but also this one here I forgot to say is how long you want it to take the door to open. So if I set it to five, it's in seconds by the way, so five seconds. That's how long I want the door to be opening for, so I grab it. It's going to be going for five seconds before it ends. So keep that in mind. So if you want it to go slower or faster. Um, but anyways guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed and this helped you, leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Um, and remember guys, once I hit a thousand if I hit a hundred subscribers by the end of this summer, I'm giving away a thousand Robux. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!